Hello, hello, and welcome to the Introverted Manager. Today we'll be talking about DNIP again, and in specifics, how you can use field parameters with DNIP visuals. Officially, DNIP does not support field parameters. So if you want to switch fields that you display in DNIP visuals, you will need to use Workaround for this. Let me show you. I've recently been playing a lot with DNIP. It's an amazing tool when you want to make some custom visual. But today, it's not the topic of the video. The topic is, is that at this point in time, DNIP doesn't support drill up and drill down, which is common occurrence in client reports. So how do you combine the two? The first thing that comes to mind is field parameters. But you will be disappointed. DNIP does not support field parameters as well, again, at this point in time. The developer has been saying that he's working on the support, but since 2022, it didn't actually happen. There is work around though, still utilizing field parameters, but you will have to set it up in a very specific fashion. Let me show you how. So, as you can see here, I have DNIP bar chart here already, and I can drill up and drill down from product line to model name to product name, doesn't matter. It works flawlessly and it utilizes field parameters. But let me show you what happens if you actually try to use it by default. So I have page here prepared separately. Currently I have here total sales measure and product name. Let's make a new field parameter and I will show you what would happen. And let's go to product category or to product, to product. Doesn't matter what we add, it's just to show you the example. Product name and product line. Let's add slicer to the page. Let's make sure it doesn't, it's single select. Okay, so it's currently not connected to the NIP yet. So what we need to do is to replace product name with uh, field parameter. Let's do that. Now let's open for editing. And now we need to map the field. It says color. Okay, because we have in the slicer color chosen. Apply mapping, okay, we see it works. But let's go back. It works, it displays data correctly. But whenever you switch, and I switch the product line, see what happens. It says undefined. And that happens because field parameter now provides different field with different name to DNIP. And therefore, DNIP no longer knows how is mapping supposed to work. If you open it back for editing, it will ask you now, okay, what previously was color, which field it is right now. Because now it sees product line, it doesn't see color anymore. Okay, let's tell it that it's product line now. It works again, but once you switch, even back to color, it again doesn't know. It again doesn't know. So, for this to work, we have to change field parameters a bit. Let me show you how. 
So let's open that field parameter and you will see DAX representation of the field parameter. And here we have first column, which is the name of the field, name of, which provides measure and order. Uh, for this to work, let's add, a, add another column. And this one, bear with me, just follow me. It will come clear later. Let's call it color. Let's call this English product name. And let's call it product line. Okay. Now what you're supposed to see is that here you have new column. You can actually rename it to something else category. Okay. We're getting there. What you will need to do now is a bit counterintuitive, but again, bear with me. Rename these two categories as well. All of them. All of them should have the same name and you probably see where this is going already. Okay, now what we'll need to do, okay, parameter, let's map it, let's map it to our category. This works, as we can see, it works, but now our slicer displaying category, 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 of course, because we renamed and now all of them are the same. So what you do is you will replace this one with the new field that we created, category, which we named similarly to our categories previously. And therefore we can utilize it for slicing. Meanwhile, field parameter will continue providing DENIP visual different fields, but under the same name, which means the NIP visual mapping will stay consistent and the same, which means you can drill up, you can drill down. And again, the NIP visual will react correctly. Let's try. As you can see, works flawlessly. And that's all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next one.